tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. This is about MASH, M-A-S-H, it's these icons here, or if you have a look here, MASH, and NURBS. Well, you might have heard that MASH goes together well with polygon surfaces, but as you will see, NURBS are okay too, but not in the way you might actually think. We just use the NURBS surface topology as a bridge to create interesting curves and let mesh objects float over those curves then. Okay, let's get started. We go to NURBS surfaces here, curves and surfaces, and with a pen we just draw a line, another line, and a third line. And in order to get a uh, more interesting surface, we would like to rotate them. And when you press the key E to rotate, for example, that curve here, the rotation center sits in the center of the scene instead of in the center of that object here, of the curve. So we select them all, go to Modify and center the pivots. That means when I select this one, the pivot is in the middle, in the middle and in the middle. So I can rotate this now in this direction, this in this direction and that in that direction. And I can lift the center one just a little bit up like this. And I think we can create a nice, actually I'll rotate this just a little bit to make it more interesting like this. Yeah, uh, one, two, three, and we go here to create a loft, which you find under modeling and surfaces loft as well. So here is the surface we get. We can uh, reverse the direction of the surface in order to see gray here and black at the bottom. Uh, it wouldn't matter for rendering though. So surfaces and reverse direction all the way down. So we have a nice view now. Since the, the original curves which make and shape that surface and which we can of course later modify like this now, um, the the curves um, are not of the same topology that's why the what we call isopalms here or isopalms don't run completely straight uh, one uh, curve has a higher resolution than the other and uh, this is so it's not bad for our purpose the lines you see here are called isopalms or isopalms and they basically are not there exactly, they're all over the place. So when we select one by um, right mouse clicking on is a palm and we select that one for example, we can move it around it because it's not there really, it's just the a visual representation that it could be there. Uh, so let's select that one and with the shift key that one and a third one. And um, that's basically all we do for now. Uh, now we go to curves and we create duplicates of those surface curves. Duplicate the surface curves. And now we have three curves here. They're called duplicate surface curves. And we can delete all the rest in the scene because we only want to use those curves here. They're kind of similar because we um, got them from a very nice uh, smooth surface but they are a little bit different because we picked them at different uh, areas of that surface. So uh, next thing we're going to do we go to the mesh world and you were right we need a mesh object a polygon object for example a cube. We make this cube really tiny I'll make it even smaller later on and currently it's uh, gray and uh, we'll color it later. What is the next step. Mesh with the cube selected we go to this icon and we have 10 of them. They sit here and we'll straight away give them a different color. Add a color node. 
and we need to select a base color for example a yellow and then we can um, choose some randomness especially the value here which makes them much brighter so they're more or less yellowish going to blue but there's no red tone in here uh, so that's basically this random um, function here we have 10 of them and we want them to sit and move on our curves how do we do this we go back to mesh that's the mesh waiter and we create a curve node so previously we created a color node now we're creating a curve node and it shows us an empty space here where we can uh, put in our curves now let's do that um, in order to move them over here let's use the middle mouse button because when you click with the left mouse button uh, I don't want to do this now you lose the selection here and you have to go back to mesh and curve etc it doesn't matter it's not a real problem but this is the way to do it uh, middle mouse drag the curve number one over here and the two over here and the three over here if you have more of them the performance will slow down that's obvious but uh, you can fit as many curves as you like here uh, even uh, though it looks like the space is almost filled up uh, you can uh, I tried this with 10 curves no problem at all so uh, how are the cubes related to the curves somehow let's extend the frame range to 1000 frames so we see a little bit more what's happening now but why are they not sitting on the curves very easy but you need to know why that is you go back back to the mesh network and here you have the distribute node that's where we uh, say we want 10 numbers of these dots or 50 now we have 50 looks quite nice but still they're not on the curve they're sort of in a straight line but not really in a straight line the key thing is the distance we don't want any distance distribution or rotation distribution here um, for our cubes we want the curves to tell the cubes where they sit so we reduce this from 20 which is the default to zero and now the blocks move to the curves now we go to the tab here with a mesh curve and down here we see the steps the steps are by default 0 0.1 when we reduce them we get less dots but when we make a step size of 1 we get a nice distribution here and a nice flow of these objects along that curve There's a nice tutorial by Ian Waters who developed this tool together with other people at Mainframe North in England and I give you the link to this tutorial where you can see how he fine-tunes these settings here. And having said this, I wish you a very, 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 very good day. Bye-bye.